Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Thermal Expansion slash Thermal Foundation in Minecraft 1.16.4. You need Thermal Foundation to install Thermal Expansion, but they are technically both mods that can stand alone on their own. So because of that, it's kind of a two-in-one sort of mod video, which is kind of unique, but nevertheless, that's what we're doing here today. First and foremost, though, we do have a smart sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. It's our very own 24-hour DNS check in Minecraft server. We have I actually love and trust Apex so much that we have our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. The first thing we want to do is find Thermal Expansion, which is in the description down below. It's the second link down below. It'll take you here, where then you want to come over here to the right hand side, scroll down under Minecraft 1.16, and click on the 1.16.3 Thermal Expansion there. It works in 1.16.4. I wish they would just go ahead and update that and change it, but they haven't. So it works. 1.16.4 even though it says 1.16.3 go ahead and click on the purple download button there and it will go ahead and automatically start the download after a few seconds three two one and the download will now begin you will need to keep the file in the bottom left of google chrome it's 100 safe to keep it you also need to save it in the server screen almost there firefox it's safe to save it as well now we want to go ahead and go to thermal foundation here where we can also find that at the third link down below when you're here you want to come over here again to the right hand side scroll down to find minecraft 1.16 under that, you'll have 1.16.3, Thermal. Go ahead and click on the purple download button to the right of that, and it will go ahead and start downloading. You might be wondering what Thermal Foundation slash Thermal Expansion does. Well, it actually adds in some different energies, some different tools, some different ores, things like that into Minecraft. It's actually a foundation mod for a lot of the Minecraft energy and redstone flux and things like that that you're used to seeing in modded Minecraft and mod packs specifically. Nevertheless, once you've got this downloaded here, we can keep it in the bottom left. You also need to save it in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now, we're still not done downloading. There's still one more mod. It's the fourth link down below and that's going to be the cough core this is the last mod that you need to download it's basically the core mod that allows thermal foundation and thermal expansion to work and then want to come over here to the right hand side again scroll down till you find minecraft 1.16 again the 1.16.3 version works in 1.16.4 let's go ahead and click on the purple download button to the right of that and then after a few seconds it will go ahead and start downloading and then boom in the bottom left we will have cough core start downloading there we want to keep the file save it in the center of screen on mozilla firefox finally there's only one more thing to download, and that is the Forge Mod Loader itself. This is what allows these three mods to work in Minecraft, so it's very, very important we get it. If you click on the fifth link down below, we'll take you here. And this is actually our in-depth guide to getting Forge installed. It's helped over a million people get Forge set up in Minecraft, but we're going to be going over the basics in this video. However, this is helpful if I go too fast, or if you do have any issues, this is going to troubleshoot them for you. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and scroll down, click on the green Download Forge button. That takes us off to Forge's official website, where we want to make sure MC 1.16.4 is selected. As you can see, right there it is. If this isn't right here, MC 1.16.4, we want to come over here to the left hand side, click on plus 1.16, then click on 1.16.4 until we see MC 1.16.4 here. And finally, we want to come over to download recommended and click on the installer button under that. Now, then go ahead and take us up to that, folks. We're stop! Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Do not click a single thing on this page. The only thing you want to click on this page is the red skip button that appears after 10 seconds in the top right. Again, don't click anything whatsoever on this page except the red skip button in the top right. When you click on that red skip button, it's going to be download forge in the bottom left as you can see forge 1.16.4 and i downloads in the bottom left we can go ahead and click keep to keep that file now it's going to download good to go you'll need to save it in the server screen on mozilla firefox again 100 safe to keep as long as it has forge in the title now finally we can go ahead and minimize our browser and here on desktop we have thermal expansion thermal foundation and cough core we also have forge itself that we downloaded these are on your desktop no worries they're gonna be found in your downloads folder to find that go ahead and click on the little windows icon to the top left of my screen probably in the bottom left of your screen click on that little windows icon the top or bottom left then go ahead and type in downloads and then this downloads file folder in windows click on that and then in here you will find all of the stuff you just downloaded drag it to your desktop just for ease of use we're now to get started we're gonna be starting off with forge to do that go ahead and right click on forge click on open with click on java and click ok but nick i don't have java or my java jar icons that i don't know do not look like yours well in that case we have a solution for you if you don't have java there what you want to do is go ahead and download java specifically java for minecraft mods these being minecraft mods we need to download this version of java so i outlined on our website you can find it linked in the description down below of course go through this tutorial here and you should be good however if you still have issues you still can open up forge or if your jar files still don't look like mine you need to go ahead and run the jar fix which you can find here so as you can see this is going to take all the dot jar files on your computer and link them to java once again fixing them repairing them and making them all work great it's an easy three-step process finally though we can go ahead and right click on forge click on open with click on java and click ok 
That's then going to open up the Forge mod system installer here. Where all we want to do is go and install client and click OK. That's then going to go ahead, start downloading, get some things set up, get some things installed, make things work, all of that stuff. And then eventually it's going to say it's successfully installed Forge for Minecraft 1.16.4. There it is, successfully installed client profile Forge for version 1.16.4. Awesome. We can go ahead and click OK. That's going to close out of that. Now we can open up the Minecraft launcher. Now before you go ahead and hit that play button on the Minecraft launcher, you want to make sure you've got the correct version of Minecraft selected. To do that, you want to click on this little arrow next to the play button, and then you want to find the Forge profile. As long as it says 1.16.4-Forge under it, go ahead and click on that and click play. But if it doesn't say 1.16.4-Forge under it, or you don't have this Forge profile at all, here's what you want to do. You want to go on the Installations tab at the top of Minecraft. Then you want to go ahead and make sure that Modded is checked over here on the right-hand side. If this little Modded box isn't checked green, this isn't going to show up at all. If that still doesn't make it show up and that is checked over there, what you want to do is go ahead and click on the plus new button here. Then you want to name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I going to name it that? Because that is our own Minecraft server. We have 1.16.4 survival with medieval survival having 30 custom quests and a play race economy and aquatic survival having an amazing slash shop based economy, incredible community, and tons of custom stuff over there. And then we have a huge skyblock redesign coming very, very soon. So if you want to check it out, go check out play.breakdowncraft.com. Play on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. We have over 150 players online every single day. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Now under the version drop-down box here, we want to go ahead and find release 1.16.4-Forge. For me, right up here it is towards the top. You may have to scroll down. I've seen it at the very, very bottom of this list before. So go ahead, scroll through, find it. But here it is for me at the very, very top or towards the very, very top. I'm then also going to go ahead and change my resolution. You don't need to do that, but we're making a video here. So I want to make sure you can see once we get in game. Now finally, we can click the green create button in the bottom right. And we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile. Under it, it says 1.16.4-Forge. Forge. Now, if we hover over this, a green play button appears. Go ahead and click on that play button, and then you're going to get this warning. Don't worry about this warning. It's just basically saying that you're playing modded Minecraft. You already know that. So let's go ahead and click on the I understand the risk column there, or checkbox, and then go ahead and click play. It's 100% safe. Don't worry about it. You're not having any issues here. Let's go ahead and open up Minecraft right like so. And now we just kind of have to wait. We have to wait for Forge to open up. We have to wait for Minecraft to open up. But guess what? The hard part is done. From this point, it's dragging and dropping and restarting Minecraft. That's how easy it is to get things installed. So I'm going to go ahead, do a quick jump cut, and I'll see you on the Minecraft main menu. Here we are on the Minecraft main menu where we can go ahead and click on the Mods tab over here, this Mods button here. When you click on that, it's going to take you here where you have an Open Mods folder button in the bottom left. Click on that Open Mods folder button, and it's going to open up a folder that looks like this. Now, all you need to do to install Thermal Expansion slash Thermal Foundation is take Thermal Expansion, Thermal Foundation, and the Cough Core, and drag and drop them into this Mods folder. As you can see, we've got Cough Core, we've got Thermal Expansion, and then Thermal is Thermal Foundation. Now, we can go ahead and close out of this, and if we go back to Minecraft, these aren't here, and they are never going to appear here, ever. They're never going to appear here. We click Done, click Mod, they're never going to appear here. All we need to do, though, is click on Done, click Quit Game, and we need to open up the Minecraft Launcher again. Now, this time, we don't need to go through creating a profile. We should already have a profile. We can just select it by clicking this little arrow to the left of the Play button. Go ahead and click on the profile that has 1.16.4 under it. In our case, playdoutbreakdowncraft.com, and then click on the green Play button. This time, you shouldn't need to confirm you want to open it. It should just open right on up. And most importantly, down here, you will be able to see Cough Core, Thermal Foundation, and Thermal Expansion right there, all working, all installed. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to work. It just means Forge has recognized them, but we know they're going to work in this case because you're going through this tutorial, and that's why you went through this tutorial, so you could guarantee that they were going to work. So, yeah, but nonetheless, we are now opening things up, and very, very soon, we'll be able to see these mods in-game. So if we go ahead, wait a second, wait for it, wait for it. So in the Minecraft main menu, it's loading into it, boom, and if, once we're here, we can go ahead and click on the Mods tab, and we have Cough Core. Thermal Series, also known as Thermal Foundation, and Thermal Expansion. So looking good there. It's truly amazing. Like, I love this. Awesome. Now we can go ahead and click on Done. Then we can click on Single Player. Go into this Thermal Expansion world I'd already created for testing. And we can just see this stuff in game. I'll tell you, I'm not going to set anything up here. This is uh, kind of more than what I, I get into when it comes to checking out plugins for setting things up. But most importantly, we can click over here. We can see all the thermal blocks that it adds, including, in, including Nickel Ore, Appetite Ore, Sulfur, Niterite, Cinnabar, Copper, tin, lead. I remember all these were silver. Oh man, I remember all this from Modern Minecraft. All the other blocks that it adds here. We've also got the magnetic dominoes and the different dominoes here. Oh my god, I remember so much of this stuff. It's so cool. Then we've also got the thermal series items here. So you can see different expansion cards and all sorts of stuff like that. Different, you know, like blocks of ore or ingots of ore. And then there, of course, are the thermal tours, including the crescent hammer, which 
who I know so well from modded Minecraft days. But there you go. There are all of the different modded Minecraft items, specifically all the thermal expansion items that are added in. This works well with Buildcraft and a few other different mods out there, but overall, this is a good start, and most importantly, it adds in all those custom ores in-game, right? So these are, you can now go mining and find things like tin and stuff like that, right? In, 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 in like, actually mining for them, which is cool. Because I honestly think there should be more mods in, or more, like, ores in Minecraft. Just saying. But nonetheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Enjoy Thermal Expansion slash Thermal Foundation. Come play with us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Play at our breakdowncraft.com. And I am out. Peace.